Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to change the spacing of access tick marks in a base R plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio two new vector objects appear which are called x and y. And these vector objects are simply ranging from 1 to 100. So if we want to draw a basic R plot with default specifications, then we can run the code that you can see in line 5. And in this line of code, I'm using the plot function. And within the plot function, I'm simply specifying our two vectors, x and y, separated by a comma. So if you run line 5 of the code, you will see that at the bottom right of RStudio, a new plot is shown. And what you also can see is that the axis tick marks are the default values that are specified by the plot function. Now, let's assume that we want to change these tick marks manually within the plot function. Then we can use the xexp argument and the yexp argument, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. And within these arguments, we are specifying the starting point of our axis, the ending point of our axis, and the number of times you want to show an axis tick mark within this range. So if you run lines 7 to 9 of the code, you will see that at the bottom right in the RStudio console, our plot is updated so that the axis tick marks are changed according to our specifications in lines 8 and 9. Now, a second alternative that I want to show you is also based on the plot function. But in this case, we are specifying the xx argument and the yx argument to be equal to the character n. So if you run lines 11 to 13 of the code, you will see that a plot is created without any axis tick marks. And then we can apply the axis function, as you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code, to specify our axis values manually. So if you have a look at line 14 of the code, you can see that within the axis function, I'm first specifying the side to which I want to draw the axis tick marks. And then I'm also specifying the positions at which I want to show my tick marks. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, at the x-axis, our new tick marks are created and this time I'm only showing three tick marks at the positions 10, 50 and 100. The same logic can be applied to the y-axis of our plot as you can see in line 15 of the code. The only difference is that I'm specifying side to be equal to 2 and then I'm also specifying different axis tick marks but at this position you can specify whatever you want. So if you run line 15 of the code, you will see that our y-axis is also showing axis tick marks as specified here at the end of the axis function. So in this video, you have learned how to change the spacing of axis tick marks in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.